because we've heard a lot today about the impacts as, on us as teachers, workload, new ideas and things. But we haven't really thought about the key thing where the, the children, this is, they deserve this. They deserve to be um, thinking fluently, thinking mathematically, working out how much one pint of milk costs, what's the best value. That's the everyday maths. My maths isn't fluent at all. I can problem solve. But in the session just there where we're answering questions, I've scribbled a lot of my answers out because I thought I wasn't doing it the right way. Um, and I don't want that for the children that I teach, and I don't care what I need to do as a teacher, what hoops I need to jump through, what new ideas I need to try out. That's what I'm going to do to make sure that the children that I teach aren't in a similar position to I am. And having a word with people around the room today, I think a lot of people are coming into the Singapore maths with that attitude. These, this conceptual understanding is something that I missed out on at school. I learned in a procedural way. I don't fully understand it. And in that respect, the Singapore maths is having a really big impact in our school because I feel the teachers are learning alongside the children. We're picking up strategies that they're using, not going into a lesson with, right, we're going to teach, you've got to do it this way, this way, and this way. We're, we're going along with what the children have and their ideas and building upon it. And it's making, it's making me a better mathematician and a better teacher. And the children amaze me on a day-to-day -day basis. So yeah, I think it's a really positive thing.